Hi everyone, welcome back to Spin Tires Mud Runner. Here we are, as my uh, my truck just broke wind, I think. Um, I've been doing the island uh, mission now, and I have basically what you got to do is got to deliver eight loads of uh, or eight load points of lumber to the lumber mill. So lumber one, lumber mill one, we have completed. I'll slow down so I can start speaking. So this lumber mill here. We've completed delivered eight of eight, as you can see. This one, we're not quite. We've just got one more load to go, and we're parked up here. I've also got a um, a fuel truck here, which I've filled up. We have a um, a border patrol here, which we can't go through when we've got logs loaded. So what we're going to have to do is come down here, come to this log station, get another load of logs, and deliver it there. And that should probably take about the right amount of time. So let's hop the old lights on. Let's get going. So it's just refueling there. As we're going down the road, we might as well do something in cockpit driving. Nice and easy here. No um, diff lock required. No all wheel drive required. We can save a bit of fuel as well. So here's the border crossing, or whatever you call it, which is fine. It's a lovely evening. All the atmospherics that you can get. Almost looks like a horror game, doesn't it? Uh, right, so we're going to continue down this. That was the main road. We're going to continue down here. And then when we come to this sort of mess here, take our diversion left and head to um, the lumber yard. Well, yeah, the logging yard. Okay, it's going to be a bit slow going. I'll put the diff lock on. That should get us through this. This isn't too bad. I'll keep a couple of wheels on the uh, almost solid ground. So yeah, this is one of the main feature of the, um, the second game is in cab driving. Oh, I didn't even see that puddle there. Oh, all wheel drive to get out of that. Sorry, wasn't concentrating. Let's get out of that pool. So I thought we'd do a bit more driving in this mode today because it seems to be what people want to see. Obviously the, the cab is it's quite nice actually. You've got the hands, the animation of the hands and the driver. Uh, the dashboard is just you know, like a, a basic um, label uh, with the, uh, the info from the HUD on it, which is fine. That is the garage, so we need to take a... We need to back this up if we can. We're having a little bit of problem getting blinded by the lights. Okay. A little bit of all-wheel drive. That should sort it. Whoa, straight away. Look at that. There is something so satisfying about driving through this mud. It's... God, this game is good. It does What it does, it does quite, you know, it's quite a simple concept. But what it does, it does really well. Right, how do we get down to that? Is that that? Can I make my own? Oh, I could potentially make my own route in there, but ah, oh, here we go. No point when we got the entrance right here. So that point over there is where you can use the crane to uh, load some logs onto the truck, but um, it's not something I particularly enjoy. Uh, so we're just going to park up here and we're going to get a, log, a load of small logs on the back. There we go. That gives us three points worth of loading. Yeah, it's quite a lot of logs there for three points worth, isn't it? Uh, but there we go. Let's um, get out of here. We've got all-wheel drive on. We should be able to get out of here without a diff. Can't see where I'm going, mind. Spin the camera. Prepare to be dazzled by the lights. There we go. Let's come on this side so we can judge that turn. It's gone very dark now. You're all saying, well, it is night, Taff. Well, yeah, I know, but you know what I mean. Ooh, bit of a camera fidget there. Let's just pop into the... Uh, 
Okay, what we can do is put the brake on. Let's just put it into a um, crawler gear. Uh, which basically is not all of the way in first gear. You've got crawl one, crawl two, then first gear. Which basically just allows the um, the vehicle to uh, crawl up the, th uh, up the uh, slope very slowly. And which allows it to um, or minimise the uh, the traction braking effect by spinning the wheels. There we go. Once we get up here onto level ground, we'll just have a quick check on where we need to go. There's the car having a little bit of wind, or the truck having a little bit of wind once again. Right, we're good here. Um, so down to that messy junction, head up there. And roll that way. Okay, looking good. Let's hop in here. Right, let's um, shove that into first. Actually, what we can do is we'll shove that back into auto. There we go. Uh, you can do fully manual gears if you want to, um, which is, gives you more control actually, but I like um, satisfaction just blasting through everything. Right. Um, yeah, we need to uh, hang it right here. It's right. Didn't feel right then. It felt a bit odd, but no, we'll go for it. Oh, this night time. Nice. Oh, look at that truck working its magic. That is fantastic. Uh, and there's me not paying attention to where I'm going. Is this the right way? Yeah, it is. Let me just get the... There we go. Let's go back into the cap. I can see what I'm doing then with the lights. The full benefit of the lights. The camera is... It is what it is. I'm, I'm not... Think a huge fan of it, I'll be honest, but um, it's okay. The reason I keep switching between, oh, I'll stick everything back on again, uh, having no aids and having the diff lock in and having the all wheel driving is that obviously that you just have to look at the um, fuel usage, which you can't see from this. But if I go into the external camera, you can see the um, we're currently with everything on, we're currently using 12 liters per minute with only. Okay, we'll take the next one. We've gone past our exit, but we can do the next one. Uh, but with only um, one or two of them on, or one or two of them on, then um, you can save a bit of fuel. So if we go, if we take the all-wheel drive off, you see it goes down from 12 to about six liters per minute. Take the diff lock off, it goes down to. <laughs> Hang on, let's get moving in. Uh, five liters, but we could, we're not actually going anywhere. But no. That does actually stall us a little bit. I'm making my own path, it would seem, but that's okay. I'm just going to off-road this bit until we get back to the uh, the main road. Got to be careful not to turn the vehicle over, of course. Uh, we're getting some nice daylight coming through now, so you get a lovely early morning sunrise. This should be nice. Right, we take all-wheel drive off here, because we're now on a track. So we come down the dra track. Nice and slowly. Got to be careful of the stones and the um, the trees that you see littering the area because they will um, pop up and if they hit the uh, the bodywork cause damage and if they hit the engine they'll obviously cause damage in there as well. So you got to be careful. Put the lights off for a second. You don't want to charge and start smacking. See, that stone could potentially do some damage. We're just going to drive over that. Uh, I need to see where I'm going. I'm on the right track. Let's um, hop into the internal. There should be a track down here somewhere. I don't see it. I am actually on it, actually. This is the track. Incredible. It's not the, uh, the greatest track in the world. You can see you've got some trees here. 
Hopefully they won't cause any uh, bother. Not really to this, but maybe the, the smaller jeeps they can cause some damage to. Oh, look at the physics in action, isn't that wonderful? No all-wheel drive, but we've got enough grip with just the diff lock-in. There's one of the um, the cranes for the uh, the load log it, the log loading, should I say? And we're oh we're right here, we've made it. Let's continue on and get this unlocked. And that should be the island completed. We've unlocked the garage and we've completed delivery on the other on the other um, lumber yard. There we go. Let's just halt there. That's the other truck we did some unloading with. Boom. Game finished. Nice. Uh, so it took an hour and a half. Fuel consumed was 347 litres. Trucks unlocked 7 of 7. Garages unlocked 2 of 2. Watch points 4 of 4. Distance travelled 10.49 kilometres. Times rescued 0. Completed in casual mode. That's fine. Hi everyone, welcome back with the island completed. Next up is the coastal area. Let's have a quick look where we are. So we're up here on the coast, funny enough, and we've got a couple of... Oh wow, we've got a big black spot in the middle. We've got some trucks down here, we've got a garage which we can unlock here. We've got a log station there, lumber mill there, a second lumber mill there, and another log station there. So again, same again, we need to load uh, eight loads worth of or eight points worth of uh, lumber to each of these two mills and then we can unlock these other vehicles as well plus unlock the the garret the two garages okay we've got two garages to unlock now to do the um, the garages if we just switch over to uh, our other truck here you can do it via the advanced menu but this is just as quick um, oh, that's not the one I wanted. Ah, what is going on with this camera? This has gone crazy. Change truck, love that one. Right, so here we go. So we can install a fireproof exhaust onto this one. We'll do that. We can turn it into a fuel truck if we want to. Garage carts. This carriage is, carries one garage point. You need four garage points to unlock a garage. Garage part, that's two. Okay, um... Garage trailer is two. So we get a garage trailer, then we get garage parts. That is four garage parts. That will be enough to unlock a uh, potential garage. So that's where that's going. Looks like a, you know, a converted uh, railway carriage on that back, doesn't it? With the metal wheels. Look at that. That's amazing. Um, well, let's just hop into uh, this one. We're going to get her going. We've got a load um, for. Um, short logs on the back of this one. Oh wow. Might be a bit of a challenge on this uh, on this map. This is not the most robust of vehicles I've ever seen, I'll be honest. But it's quite fuel efficient. I can't speak. The wheels are quite narrow, which probably ain't going to help us too much. Um, where are we going to go? We're going to hop down here. We've got a fuel station there. We'll fill up there. Then come over to the logs and then where's these mills? Lumber mill down there and lumber mill over there. Alright, I guess we have to try and find the uh, the mills. Now the the little vehicle, the little Jeep, is obviously your recon vehicle, which most people will use that to uh, find the relevant um, points along the map. Open up the uh, the visibility points. Put the diff lock on, see if that'll help get us through this bit. He's struggling, I'll be honest. But we are motoring finally. Um how are we doing for fuel? Fuel, we got pretty much a, almost a full log, a load. So we'll come down here to the log station, see if we can uh, get that sorted. Now we've got a log on the road here, which I'm guessing may do some damage to the truck. Let's just see. Hopefully not. 
Sometimes they just flick up awkwardly and cause damage. Got a bit of a oh, ramshackle bridge which we kind of missed. Come on, baby. Yep, she's okay. Easy does it around here. Well, she's going quite nicely with just the diff lock on. She's not particularly... Oh, okay. We'll have to put all-wheel drive on going up that little bit of incline. A little bit of an incline is enough to uh, cause her to stop. We'll take the all-wheel drive off for a moment. And I think we just came to a juddering halt against that trunk of a tree. Careful as we come over the little rise, just in case there's stones as we could potentially drop the front of the truck on and cause damage. Narrowing it through here. Keeping it nice and smooth. We have a river, it would appear. That potentially could be the logs over there. Let's have a look. Uh, we've gone the wrong way. We should have turned off back there. Right. Not to worry. Um, let's back this up. We've got enough room here to turn around in, which is wonderful. see that route off to the side I'll be honest oh is that it there up the, yeah there it is it's not the uh, most obvious big stones here we've got to be careful we may need a bit of all-wheel drive coming up here which we have switch that off now now that we're at the top bounce over those Take it easy, take it easy. And here we go, is the log station. Got some rocks on the way in, so we'll just go steady. There we go. Right, so we've got. Oh god, sorry, I was looking at the fuel gauge. Um, we've got. Unfortunately, <laughs> we didn't get any damage for that, it was just a light bump. We've got like. Um, we used it. Over maybe a third of the tank. Let's get some logs on there. Now, quickest way to try and find it would probably be. Well, we've got to go through the river because that's where the road goes. Unless we want to come down to this road down there. We don't know where we're going there either. So, back the way we came. Unless we got a little, we got a little spin round here, which is good. Back the way we came through the river. You can see there's a crossing there, and uh, and see what we can make of the area. Oh goodness me. Right, all-wheel drive here because this is, look at this, the wheel's almost right up to the, uh, the top in this muck. Careful not to flip it, you can tip these trucks over. Yeah, I really need to look where I'm going. I'm trying to get some um, exciting camera angles, but then all of a sudden you realise you, you're facing off against a tree or a pile of logs or, a, you know, a cliff face. You know, just need to do the basics first and get up here. There's rocks there again. Let's just come off the... Uh, half for a second to get round those. Right, all-wheel drive can come off as we're on this nice dry path. Probably diff lock can come off for a second, save a bit of fuel. Okay, diff lock needs to go back on. When we're coming up the... Uh... Okay, we could probably put it in cr crawler gear, but let's just get going. Stick all-wheel drive on.
Right, so if we're coming down to this bit now, we need to continue on to the left, back to the course we came, to the river. Oh, steady. So much weight, you can always, of course, make the suspension work a little bit too hard and end up bouncing on a rock. Because you're going a little bit too fast and causing a little bit of damage. It's not something we want to do here. Now, up to the river. Straight ahead, straight ahead. Now this might be deep. Let's go through uncharted waters. Oh, that is deep. Whoa. Okay, that is incredibly deep. Let's see if there's a, is there any shallow areas? Is it a case of just drive through it and go for it? Taking a bit of damage because we're going on over the uh, the water limit, but oh, we're safely through there with just two damage. That's not too bad. I'll take that any day. Fuel's not great. We're down to well, two thirds left, I suppose. We'll drive off. Let's save a bit. No, going out now three liters a minute, which is much better. Let's uh, come into the cab, and we oh, we've come up to a road. Nice. So we want to we want to be going that way we're heading. So I guess we go south, and then hope the road loops around. Switch the diff lock off as we're on tarmac, and just um, enjoy the smooth ride for a little bit. Wow, she's not fast, is she? Even in her best configuration, she is not the uh, speediest beast you will ever see on the road or in the uh, countryside somewhere, crushing through trees. Just doing that, see if there's any birds to scare. Rocking down this road. I have no idea where I'm going, by the way. Um, well, if we keep coming down here, we may unlock another watch point, which would be quite interesting. So keep an eye out for like a um, little watchtower uh, with um, a flag and a little a little ring of um, a little black ring around it, which is the uh, the watch point. There it is over there. Right, let's do this carefully. Diff lock on. At least this tree might do us some damage if we're not careful. Let's put all wheel drive on. Let's just get up this. Oh, come on, baby. Up, 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 up. Got it. Right, let's open. Let's see what that's opened up. Ooh, okay, so we've got two trucks there we could potentially unlock. We'll go back and unlock those for sure. Um, we've got a lumber mill down here. So in fact, we might come down here, do this, and then head to the lumber mill that way. Sounds like a plan. All right, let's see where we're going. Steady. Slowly, slowly, catchy monkey. Not that we're trying to catch monkeys today, but the principle's the same. There we go, lovely jubbly. Look, look how um, low the rear is compared to the front. You can see that we're quite light on the front. We've got going to develop understeer because of the weight on the back of the truck. The front wheels are barely touching, it would seem. Getting the muck off the wheels as we come down here. Okay, this must be where it is. Get some more trucks unlocked. Oh, look at that beast over there. Let's go and have a quick look at that. If we can. Oh, yes. Uh, we might have to crash. How quick is the... Uh, Will that unlock from outside here? 
Is it locked? No, it's not. There we go. Let's start this beast up. I love this thing. If I can break off. Yes. And this thing is immense. Permanent diff lock on. Nothing stops this. It's got a bit of damage to it, mind. We can always go and get that repaired in one of the garages when we unlock it. And a fuel truck. Ah. Splendid. What I suppose we could do is take this back to a, um, a garage and um, see if we can get a, a trailer for it. This thing is so good. Right, where should we take this for a moment? That that fuel tr oh, that truck isn't going anywhere. Let's um. There we go. I don't want to waste that. Uh, we have. Okay, let's go and unlock this watch point with the um. This beast. I didn't put the parking brake on. It seems you automatically do when you leave the vehicle. It's like a trunk cab. A truck cab. So I say a trunk cab. What I'm talking about. Who knows? Oh, this is such an awesome little beast. I say little. It's huge. Oh, we got another barrier here, which I guess we we're not going to be allowed to drive through with a load of wood. For some reason, they got some sort of... There you go. Trucks with no lumber are allowed to pass, but trucks with lumber are not allowed to pass. It's weird, isn't it? It's, it's almost as if they're trying to stop your progress. Right, how close are we to the watch point? The watch point is over here somewhere. Maybe down that track, or is this a little track here? Not really, but I can see the thing. Let's um, can we can we make it a track? Let's uh, get in the cockpit and uh... no, it's not having any of that. Okay, let's drive around then. It's obviously just a pull-in where people spin around. So they did exactly what we did. Went too far. All wheel drive on to get through this is. What, this looks like, you know, some sort of World War One battlefield. Look at it. It's just horrendous. How do we get in there? Oops, 120 damage there, but we're through. There we go. That is that unlocked. We need to uh, back this up slowly, slowly, nice and safely. Ram as much as we can. Oh, not going to get past that tree. It's often the way with these things. You go tearing into somewhere, and then if you have to back out, you can never find the way you came in. Right, let's spin the camera around. Come on, come on silly camera. Work with me here. Let's um, let's get us out of here. Let's get that right turned around. There we go. Can I pinpoint between those two trees? He kind of. Oh, look at the damage we did hitting that tree. It's really cracked just where the driver is. Wow. Got a bit of tree sticking off from the. Uh, the suspension, yeah, it's not going to stop this baby though. She's taking a bit of damage. Nothing stops it. Right, what I'm probably going to do is stop messing around now. Uh, what I'll probably do off screen is um, get this back to a garage, get it re um, repaired, get it over to a fuel station to get it um, refueled as well. 
And then what I might do is get it loaded up, see if we can get some maybe garage point trailers with it, and then unlock the other two garages with this thing. Pulling those trailers. Just park it off to the side for the moment. Stop the engine. There we go. Oh, it's got a it's got a hitch trailer, so we can repair 121 of damage. There we go. Lovely. Not too bad after all. Right, back to our truck. Actually, before we do that, this ah, this does actually have fuel in it. Sweet. So we'll just we'll bring this out on onto the road, so I can um, I see it from the road. So it, should ever I need to uh, get some fuel, I know this um, system is right right there for uh, refueling. Careful, we don't know how deep this puddle is. There we go, and we'll park you just there. Nice. Parking brake on. And uh, stop the engine. Good, right. That has been... Um, it's always a bit worrying when you get to your truck and you hear the sound of a tree creaking away like it's going to come down right on top of you. Not a very good sign. What I might do is get this refueled when we have um, the truck literally just there. And then I'll continue my journey to the lumber mill. You've seen what we do. That's all we do in this game. It's just lumber mill stuff. Um, but it's it's fairly enjoyable. But obviously from a video's point of view it can get quite repetitive. So uh, you already seen me deliver some wood ones, so um yeah, you're probably not gonna want wanna watch me do too much more of that. Right. So if we uh, change trucks to that one and then fuel that one up change truck to that one and then we're back on back on the road right how are we going to get through here then um oh yes we're going to go down there and around won't we that and there's a fuel station down there oh how wonderful good right back into there the sun's about to set which means it's probably a good time to say goodbye because you don't want any more nighttime driving um, so we'll leave it there guys. Thanks for watching. Another quick look at um, Spin Tires, Mud Runner. I do enjoy this game. It's this and um, Bomber Crew are the two games I'm really enjoying at the moment. Um, I hope you are too. If not, you're going to hate the videos for the next couple of days. But um, we'll leave it there guys. Thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed it. And I'll see you next time with more video fun. Maybe in Mud Runners, maybe in something else. I need to look where I'm going. That fence will never be the same. I'll see you next time.